This uh, is uh, uh, files there. Is it? Pictures. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable what we are seeing. Bomb drop on the defenseless girlfriend. Is that what is happening today? The British. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. No. Are you alive now? I'm not alive. I will post it later because I want it to be as clear as possible because if I make life now, it won't be clear. You know. So actually, we are in the house of one of our um, father here in Ireland. He was a journalist during the Vietnam War, serving in Irish independent um, um, newspaper here in Dublin. He was actually involved in the air relief of uh, the starving Vietnamians. And uh, somehow, as God may have it, we stumble on his... Um, Son in city center on the 19th of uh, on the 19th of um, September while we are doing our protests in Dublin and uh, we managed to establish contact and they invited us to come to their house to see the evidence of um, the genocidal war committed against our people in Biafra land through the British missionaries uh, called Frederick Lugard and. Uh, there are so many informations here that we we don't even know where, where, to, where start. to start. <laughs> uh, unlike this one here, look at this picture. This is the, the man we are in his house right now. He's a little bit old now. And uh, that's him interviewing uh, yeah. Dim Ojuku, uh, 1967, Seven, there about. And, uh, um, the, the person behind Ojuku there seems to be Philip Elfian. I it, don't know. It could be, yeah. It looks like Philip Elfian. Yeah, it looks like him. I look uh, the man we are talking about now, this is the man here. Uh, not that old as we uh, 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 Now, look at this one here. This is the uh, one of the Time magazine, 1968. Yes. August. That's, August. That's 23. 20, uh, 1968. You see, look at this. These are things that you're never going to find anywhere in the public. And they keep hiding these information. Yeah. And um, yeah. as Chukwa Biyama have... Um, uh, mandated the Biafra restoration to the indigenous people of Biafra. Look at what we are discovering. Look at this information here. This this is they said they only killed 3.5 million. And look at this one so here. Now it says 5,000 5, 5, 5 million, million actually. 5 face million death face, starvation. face death um, by uh, starvation. Uh, by, face death by starvation. Yeah. And then now some 5 to 6 million Biafrans may be only a few days or even hours away from death. Uh, let, let, let the world see it here. Now, now the world have to see this report we are bringing to you here. This is Evening uh, Herald, Dublin, Dublin, Dublin. January 12, 1970. Exactly. So, we are showing 1970. this... 1970. 1970. We are showing this to the world, bringing it... Sorry, sorry uh, dears. I just want to show this headline here. Yeah. It's all over. This speak loud. What it means is that a nation, a tribe is all over. It's being wiped. Cleaned up. It's being Cleaned in up. the verge of being dismantled. So, um... They say it's 3.5 million. Why the evidence is showing that it's almost 6 million. 6 million. That means it's in, in, in the same vein with the, uh, a German woman who said that we should stop saying 3.5 million. The debt is over 6 million. No, there's something that you need to know here now, uh, uh, coordinator Kinsley. There's mm -hmm. something that you need to know here. This is the number of people who are face uh, 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 starvation, starvation in a couple of hours and days. This is what they're saying here. Mm -hmm. That means every hour or every minute we are losing about a thousand people. people. Yeah. If you put it in, in, in calculation, mm. it's like they are not saying that these people are facing starvation in, in, in weeks or mm. in months. They are saying uh, days uh, or even hours. Uh, uh, days or even hours. It's here. Days it's or here. Even hours. So these people claiming that it's only 3.5 million or 2 million, as they claim, is completely lie. And this journal is not being written by any black man, it's not written by any Biafran. But by this 
man, he, 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 he was he was there on the ground. This the is the like, Where is the picture? So yeah. people will see it again. So uh, um, that's a matter of fact. It was not that one. That was 1970. Was yeah, this is 1970. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and now, and okay, it wasn't okay. We we're gonna show you something that will shock you here, in case people think that we are we are only joking. Look at this picture here. This is the man himself. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. This Abba, not Oba. Abba. 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 This is yeah. in Abba. Abba. And those, uh, they are across the Omo River. Omo Imo Imo River. Imo River. Imo River. Imo River. Yes. That's a in a in Imo State. In Imo State. In Imo State. In Abba. That actually those in days they used that. Had crossed over the river and taken this town of Abba. Okay. Now all the British press and all were talking about. The uh, Biafrans have been defeated there, and here mm -hmm. was on the spot. Mm. And about two nights later, was flying back into uh, San Tome, and all the foreign press were there. Mm. And I was able to tell them that the Biafrans were still in Abba. Yeah. yeah. And there was a famous reporter from the Daily Express or something. Mm. Clement that they have and defeated and there. He, and he they have a taken... big award for his story. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, supposedly describing the capture by the the Federalists yeah. of the Biafrans mm -hmm. at Abba, and I had just left them the evening before. <laughs> that is propaganda. Propaganda. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that yeah. is pure propaganda. That, that is, is good. Orchestrated by the British. Yeah. The British. Oh, you yeah. know, they claiming they have defeated us. No. Uh, here, okay. see, see, the, see another another picture here. Yeah. The journalists were in his house. Um, and Ojuku himself. And Ojuku himself. So everybody can see this. See him. See him here. See him. See him here. So we. So this picture. You are telling me this picture is over fifty years old. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do you see history here? Yeah? So, so, so I think this one I'm happy here. happy to be alive to witness this. I think yeah. this is one of the airplanes that they yeah, use from San Tome. San Tome. Yeah. From San Tome. San Tome. Our principal. Yeah. 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 So that's that's wow. that's what we are talking about here. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. And look at yeah. them standing side by side with this yeah. journalist here. Yeah. Actually, all these soldiers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would have been pupils from the secondary school in. Oh, it's already my career. I'll just come across it again. Okay. What you trying to say? All these and soldiers are recruited from secondary school. Secondary schools. schools. Yeah. And uh, we just want to bring this. Just look at this. Amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at this report here. British made bomb. Oh, drug yeah, on yeah, air, defenseless Biafran oh. town. Look at this. Yeah. British government, they are incomplicit over the mass killing of our people. And they don't want to let go because they want to drink oil. They were involved on the killing of Ken Wiwa because he was actually um, campaigning over the oil split in Ogoni land. Mm -hmm. They want to drink the oil. They hate anybody. These people think they can kill all our prophets. No long this time around, kill Nam the Kano and you get a deadly Nam the Kano behind him. Nam the Kano is not alone. Look at how these reports are coming. Look at look at this dramatic scene from Biafra. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Tupac Gabiama is, is, is in charge of what we are doing. When we tell them that Biafra is ordained, they don't want to believe it. And this time around, look at how this information are coming through. You can never get this. British would have destroyed this information if they have it. Yeah. They would destroy it because they don't want the world to know the truth. Yeah. And we look at the press release. Look at the press release. Omochi Neke. What year was that? 69. 1969. Look there, are, there are many. Plenty of them. First I, ju I just want to, in case our, our, our listeners, our, our viewers, so they can read a little bit of it. So we just want to, you know, give you a little bit, you know, for fast readers, those who can read very, okay, very fast. Okay, you know what, yeah? Um, I mean, 
Do you mind just reading uh, maybe just two yeah. paragraphs for two paragraph two. Uh, and, and Okay. An address to the nation by His Excellency General C. Odebei Gojuku, Head of State and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of okay. the Republic mm. of Biafra on Thanksgiving Day, June 1st, 1969. Proud and courageous Biafrans, fellow countrymen and women, I salute you. Today, as I look back over our uh, two years as a sovereign and independent nation, I am overwhelmed with a feeling of pride and satisfaction in our performance and achievements as a people. Our indomitable will, our courage, our endurance of the severest privations, our resourcefulness and inventiveness in the face of tremendous odds and dangers have become proverbial in a word so bereft of heroism and have become a source of frustration to Nigeria and her foreign masters. For this and for the many miracles of our time, let us give thanks to Almighty God. I congratulate all dear friends at home and abroad. I thank you all for the part you have played and have continued in play, to play in this struggle for your devotion to the high ideals and principles on which this republic was founded. I thank you for your absolute commitment to the cause for which our youth are making daily the supreme sacrifice and a cause for which we all have been disposed, blockaded, bombarded, starved and massacred. I salute you for your tenacity of purpose and amazing steadfastness on the siege. I think we, we just want to uh, brief you on this press release by his people's general, Dim or the Mogo Juku. And um, you see, when, when we tell you that we will dismantle the zoo, the contraction called the Zoological Republic, piece by piece, this is what we are talking about. And um, where, where do we go, go on. Uh, uh, the, a night at uh, Uri Airport. Oh, I don't know what is happening there, but uh, it, it seems interesting anyway. Can we you are go telling on? you what, what, what led to the war, why the British want to slaughter us. Uh, let our secretary just go on there. Uh, no, while he's reading that, that. Can you read the press? No one here. Yes. Oh, it's all no. So while 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 he while he's doing this, going through some of this, then I'm gonna show you. Look at this headline here. Look at this particular one here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry for. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, they claim that it's all in the zoo, all in Nigeria. Look at it. I hope the world is seeing this. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this here. The oil in Biafra land. Those ones in Ejo claiming that they are only. Only uh, uh, they are not Biafrans. Those ones in in Ibibio say claiming they are not Biafra. This is it now. This is the report here, live. All you in Biafra land. All you in Biafra land. Uh, can you go on now, yeah, so. uh, I salute the memory of the many patriots who the, have the, the, the press the release of our people's general. You know, continues in defense of our fatherland. I salute the memory of our uh, all Biafrans men, women, and children who died victims of the Nigerian crime of genocide. And we bought out the shop of all the, of any kind of sweets and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, it was terribly expensive. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, because nobody could afford yeah. chocolate or anything, but the, the airport shop had it, you know. One man I was in shop. So when he's trying to explain... Anyway. Yeah, when he's trying to explain here is... Um, the gentleman that we are in his place now is trying to tell us, you know, on his course of duty, he find time to also give some snacks to Biafra, yeah. Biafra children, just to tell you the type of heart the Irish people have, you know, uh, and you should know that uh, uh, many of us uh, sur survive to this day because of the, you know, the generosity of Irish people. You know what they have done. This is another picture to show for that. Yeah. This it has no absolutely no reason to give anything to uh, Biafran children, but he chose that upon himself to make sure that uh, he does not see any other Biafran child die before yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, and I believe this one, you and your colleagues, you know, you know, traveling or something like that. Oh, uh, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, John O'Neill. Yeah. John O'Neill, I think the, the man on the photographer. Uh, flyer. Yeah, 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 I think. I think we have. Yeah, yeah we have that. Yeah, we have this one. Yeah. John O'Neill. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this one is him again. You can see very clearly, you know, handing over some oh, okay. snacks yeah. to starving Biafran children. This is the man here. Yeah. We are yeah. very honored to, to be in his place. Missionary. Missionary, okay. Mr. William was a very, very important person in the relief operation. You know. Wow. He, he was the head of the Holy Ghost. He's still, brothers. yeah, he's still alive? No, 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 he's not. not. Like an awful lot of them. Okay, okay, because who would like? A couple of them are still alive. Yeah, we would like to see all of them. Yeah. You under, you, you would like to see every one of you that prayed. Come out with the proper camera. Yeah, we so want to see every of you that have played a yeah. very vital role to make sure that Beverly survive. You know, because I cannot thank you guys enough. You know, uh, and we want the world and the Bia fans to see this. Yeah. You know, because it's very, very important. Yeah. Some of us don't know our history because they never teach us yeah. at school. And, uh, you know, there's not like history in Nigeria uh, academic, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. uh, I've been in contact with uh, Concern about Africa. It started off as Africa Concern. Yeah, uh, we, we, uh, when she died, Medica is it Medicare or something like that? The, the woman that started it, uh, the co-founder. Yes. Foundation. She died. She she, died really. yeah. uh, the one that died, is it earlier this year or last year? No, this year. Earlier this year. We went to her funeral. Yeah. 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 The, the woman that started the concern. Yeah, she yeah. passed away. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, this is the man here with uh, Biafran soldiers. Biafran soldiers. Father Tony Byrne, he's still alive. He, yeah. he's, he's in Dublin. He lives in Dublin. Father Tony Byrne. Can, can we get his contact, please? Yeah. 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 He wrote a book called Airlift to Biafra. Yeah. 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 Okay, it wasn't yours. Was from Lisbon, Portugal, yeah? Oh, yeah, I was in Lisbon, yeah. Yeah, from oh, yeah. Lisbon. Yeah. yeah, so it has nothing yeah. to do with you. Yeah. Uh, in J July 11, 1968. I have a wrong impression that missionaries were fleeing. Yeah, yeah so... They were all staying there. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the headline does not correspond with what is happening, so... Yeah. Yeah, okay, you give the impression that the missionaries are fleeing the war town. Okay. In Catholic penance. Yeah, I remember writing that. Irish woman that is right. refugee from Batu area. Yeah. Irish woman. Yeah. There's a lot of information yeah, I here. I prefer now you didn't carry that we'll because it's wrong. Yeah. yeah, it's wrong. The headline is wrong. We are living here. Yeah. They never left the yeah. end of the war, right? Yeah. Even yeah. on that threat. Yeah. Because I remember they said that um, the Nigerian government uh, threat killed any any missionaries yeah. that is helping Biafra. Yeah. Wow. I'm so keen about this. Yeah. Wow. 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 And uh, we are here and with Mazi Jun, our Ebu Secretary, Mazi Chukwemeka, our National Coordinator, Zayeva, and my own very self. The Dublin coordinator, but I think so. I'm very happy to be here, to be honest with you. I can't express how joyful I am to see all this. Okay. That was um, January 16, 1970. Look at the face. That wasn't the This one, January 12th. What's, what's the date there? January 12th, 1970. So, they wrote oh, this one four days uh, before this one. Well, yeah, this is uh, this four days after. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This Irish independent. This one yeah. is. Uh, oh yeah. This one is uh, Herod. Even Herod. Even Herod. This yeah. Irish independent. Yeah, that's Irish independent. Oh God. It's, it's amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. Information yeah. can come.
Well, I have seen a lot of pictures okay. here. <laughs> what, what is happening here? You guys are having some quiet time, relaxing. Oh, well, that's that was before uh, the war. Okay. Um, what is this? WCC sec. What, what does that mean? Uh, World Council Church of Seeks what? 1.25 hmm. million to aid war victims and violence. Wow. War. What church council here? Yeah, council of churches. World council of churches. Okay, world council of churches. Sec. Yeah. One point two million pounds. Yeah. This is a very big money at that time yeah. 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 to aid war victims. Yeah. Wow. You are Thank you. Wow. New Irish ambassador to Nigeria appointed. Went in Biafra as stands there. That's what happened. Engineers. I was working in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, he was working with the, with the, the Africans, really, you know. Okay. And uh, then he, 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 he joined, uh, he joined the, yeah. the Biafra. Well, I interviewed him with his pantalier and his wow. machine gun and everything. You know, and wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, just to tell you, yeah. you know, the Irish, Irish people did not only support us financially, they did not only support us in terms of aid, mm -hmm. they also fight, you know, in the side, yeah, they fought in the side of Biafra. Yeah. You know, Cork is just like about three hours drive from here.